Hi guys, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to explain why your iPhone suddenly turns off even though it says it still has battery life remaining. The software controls everything on your iPhone, including displaying how much battery life you have left. If the battery life percentage is incorrect on your iPhone, then there's a disconnect between the software and the physical battery itself. But that doesn't necessarily mean that there's a problem with the battery. So don't go running and replacing your iPhone's battery right away. Yep. The first thing we're going to do is try to fix the software. The easiest fix is yep. simply to turn your iPhone off, turn it back on yep. again. Pretty, pretty simple. And if, I mean, if that yep. doesn't work, the next thing, just go right to the DFU Restore. Right. DFU stands for Device Firmware Update. It's important to do a specifically a DFU Restore, which is the firmware piece. Firmware lives in between the hardware of your phone, which is all the, the battery itself, and the software, which is like the apps on your iPhone. And it's the software that lets your battery communicate with the logic board correctly. So if that software or that firmware is screwed up, then the battery percentage is going to be all out of whack. Yep. So do that DFU restore, obviously yep. back up your phone first. Back up your phone first, and then once it's backed up, we'll link to a DFU walkthrough and a card above and the description section below. If you put your iPhone in DFU mode uh, and the issue still isn't fixed, you might need to look at repair options. Mm -hmm. The first thing to think about is, did you just replace the battery of your iPhone? Or is your iPhone battery really, really, really old? Mm -hmm. If your iPhone battery is really old, then there could actually be a physical problem with the battery mm -hmm. of your iPhone. And it might be time to go get a battery replacement. Apple has discounted battery replacement costs, and third-party repair shops do fine with that too. But it could be a different hardware problem too. It could be a logic board problem, and especially if your iPhone is damaged, you mm -hmm. just dropped it in the lake. Yeah, the you know, water damage yep. will cause all sorts of problems. Um, mm -hmm. So take it into Apple. We'll also recommend a third party in a card above, description section below. Mm -hmm. But this also might be a good time to switch to a new phone, upgrade, especially if an older phone with an old battery. Mm -hmm. And some of those older phones Apple won't even touch because they're on the um, obsolete yeah, legacy the, the devices vintage, list. The vintage yeah, list. Vintage yeah, so check out the cell phone comparison tool on upphone.com. Compare every phone, every carrier, Find every some plan. Great deals. Yeah. yeah. And the good thing about that too is if you switch plans, the carriers will offer you a great deal on new phones. Like Sprint is a deal right now where you can get an iPhone XR for like $15 a month if you switch to a um, basic unlimited plan, which is a crazy good deal. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll link to that in the description section below and a card above as well. Uh, yeah. This is the perfect time to get a new phone. This is, yeah, this is So yeah. that's what to do if your iPhone turns off and you still have battery life remaining. Yep. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this video and click the notifications bell to get an immediate update whenever we upload a new video. Thank you.